Woods was convicted two different times and sentenced to life in prison without parole. At the time, with the evidence that we had, with the uh, science that we had at the time, uh, the investigators did what they thought was correct and the prosecution did as well. Woods was released from prison in September. Her conviction vacated after new evidence came forward. Rodney Hellbauer's DNA was found on a cigarette butt from the crime scene, and it also matched forensics evidence from two of the Gypsy Hill murders. He awaits trial in San Mateo County, and Woods will not be prosecuted again. Today it's wonderful. I wish it had happened a long time ago, but I don't think it could have. So today it's terrific. Woods lives with her brother and sister-in-law in Southern California, where she still struggles with mental illness. And she's also adjusting to a world much different than the 1970s. She didn't know how to use a cell phone. She knows how now. She didn't know how to use a telephone re or television remote control. She knows how to do that. I don't think she's tackled a computer yet. She hasn't driven in 35 years, and I don't think that anybody's going to let her try just yet. Now, the DA says the Mitchell family has been very understanding of what's become of this case. Hal Bauer is the suspect in Michelle's murder, but he has not been arrested or charged in Washoe County yet. Covering the big story live in the newsroom, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News. What a